Today, I'll show you two different interest styles for day trading and scalping. I'll cover different financial securities. You will understand how to analyze assets in high time frames, finding the most critical supply and demand areas. After that, I'll teach you how to enter a trade by using high time frames only for day trading. In the final section, I'll teach you how to use low time frames for scalping. The best entry, the best stop loss, the best targets. I love this trading style for scalping and day trading. We have so much to do. If you're ready, let's start. Welcome our free trading course. All about price action trading strategies and smart money concepts. Today is a special day. I'll be showing the how to combine high and low time frames for day trading and scalping. By the way, you can find the structured table of contents on Google Drive or directly from my website, which is in the description. And please try to watch videos in order, otherwise it can be quite confusing. So, we are going to analyze the same asset with high time frames and make entries with high time frames and low time frames. I got so many questions about which time frames I check the most. As I said before, I check any time frames. However, the most one I check is 1 hour as a high time frame, 15 minutes as mid time frames, and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 minutes as low time frames. These are my general ones. Let's check the gold. The first thing that I always do is check the left of the chart before even looking at the current price level. My eyes are looking for a high quality break that creates a big imbalance. You should know by now, I am a big imbalance trader. You can see these high quality breaks right here. And if you look at the shape, the second swing cannot create the new higher high. So. What is this pattern called? Yes, it is the mitigation block. Very simple to identify the supply area. And right next to it, you can see the order block supply area. You do not have to be so specific about which exact candlestick is the order block, mitigation block, or the breaker block. It does not matter the exact candlestick. You just need to identify the overall supply area or demand area. Now, you can see the giant imbalance created by the high quality break. I love this kind of imbalance. Let's assume we want to make a high time frame entry without going into lower time frames. How can I do that? My first question is, are there any places that can pull the price? Pause the video and tell me. What can pull the price from the supply area? Yes, it is this giant imbalance. This can easily pull the price. So, how would I make an entry? First of all, my target is very clear. The giant imbalance. How about my stop loss? Before placing my stop loss, I would definitely check where the highest saving point is. You cannot use every saving high point, sometimes it could be far far away. However, in this example you can see that if I set the stop loss and the imbalance as a target, I can easily get a 2R trade. This is why risk management is dynamic. There are no fixed rules. Every chart will have different targets, different stop loss points, and different enter styles. Some charts will give you 2R, 3R setups and some others 4, 5R setups. Ok, let's see the same chart and the same trade with lower time frames. You'll see that how is your entry, stop loss and target change. Now zoom in on this special area with a 15 minutes time frame. First of all, you can notice how the big imbalance from the one hour is fully filled. And then strong and high quality breaks happen. It creates two big internal micro imbalances. And the supply order block which creates the dragon fruit. When you place your premium and discount zones 
we have a very clear entry point. You can also use your Fibonacci tool to identify the specific optimal trade entry zone. Now, how would I take this trade? First of all, my target. You can clearly see the possible huntable equal lows below. This would be my target. As a stop loss, again, I'm looking for the highest swing point. And I'm calculating from my mind, if I use this stop loss and this target, is it a good trade setup or not? As you can see, I do not talk about the entry so much, because your stop loss and the target are much more important than your entry. Entry points will determine how much money you'll make. However, the stop loss and the target will determine if you are going to make money or lose money. So which is more important, amount of money to make or making or losing money? I'll leave the answer to you. Let's check out the pound dollar pair. Again, first I'll analyze the high time frames and then I'll look for entries with high and low time frames for scalping. You can easily notice the high quality breaks right here, strong and powerful candlesticks. If you closely look at it, you'll see the mitigation block structure shape with a failed swing. This creates our first demand area of the mitigation block. Right next to it, there is the order block demand zone. And finally, the imbalance area. So, order block, mitigation block, and the imbalance, all touching each other, creating our layer system a much stronger and powerful demand area. Let's assume price pulls back to our strong demand area. I'm always looking for a strong target, and I can easily see the downtrend liquidity area right above. If somehow the price goes above, it will definitely want to hunt the stop losses gathered here. You can also see the equal loss. Some folks keep asking me about inducement. This is called inducement. It is just a fancy name for hunted stop losses before the reversal move. So the price hunts these equal lows and touches our demand. It fills up just like a car, filling the full tank before the journey. Let's talk about the trade. Again, I would like to talk about the stop loss because we already determined the target. There are two possible stop loss points here. One just right under the order block candlestick. The second is below the lowest saving point possible. And again, the choice is yours. This is your risk management. I mostly give my trade some cushion and some room to breathe. I like larger stop loss points, but this decreases my reward to a 2-3 hour setup. If you use the tighter stop loss, this could have been a 5 hour trade. Let's look at the same trade again, this time for scalping at really low time frames and see how we can adjust a perfect entry point. Let's zoom in on this area in a 3 minutes time frame. What do you see here? Do I even need to tell you how to take this trade? You should master it by now. First of all, you can easily see the high quality break, which is very powerful. This break creates a mini SR Philip area with the breaker block. It also leaves a giant imbalance behind. Before entering the trade, let's check out where we can target. What do we have? Please pause the video and identify the possible target points for me. Yes, the first thing is the fresh imbalance area, and secondly, the general downtrend liquidity areas. Many trend channel traders have stop loss orders here. Now, this trade could be tricky because it does not pull back a lot. This is kind of a warning sign for us because it just reaches the imbalance 
and breaker block area without coming into the discount area so much. What can I do? Just taking an entry. However, I would have a giant stop loss right below the lowest ceiling point because price could easily try to pull back later on and then try to move to the possible targets. After all, all these are choices you have to make. You will master risk management by yourself. No one can teach you that because your goals are different from mine. I trade for fun, just for some external cash, not aiming to be a pro trader. In time, with lots of experience, you'll find your way and maybe become a full-time trader who is aiming for 5R to 10R trades. I teach you the basics, giving you the main tools. You are the one who needs to master the tools. Ok folks. I hope that you understand the difference between using high and low time frames for day trading and scalping. This is a very common supply and demand trading strategy and almost every trader that I know uses these trading strategies. You can use it in your trading life as a day trader or scalper. I hope you subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you, please take care and see you soon.